All right, you guys, so now we are in part two of empties. So if you didn't see part one, I'm gonna put a little flag up here so you guys can go check it out. So it featured all of my hair care, my skin care, and my fragrance empties. This one is going to be all makeup. There's not gonna be skin care, there's not gonna be hair care, it's not gonna be random, it's all makeup related. So I figured that this one might be more of interest to some people where some people might be more interested in the skincare and the hair care. So we're gonna go ahead and get into my makeup empties. So I'm going to go in order of when I would apply these things, I think is how I'm gonna do them. I have everything kind of grouped off into sections. So I'm going to start with primer. So I have two primers from NYX. The first one is the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer. And this is a silicone based primer. This is one of those that's going to fill in lines and any texture or pores in your skin to make it look more flawless. I love pore filling primers for when I'm filming or when I know I'm gonna be taking Instagram pictures or when I know I'm gonna be out and taking pictures. I just really like to have more of a flawless base for my makeup to go on top of. Plus I have, you know, little fine lines, I have pore issues. So I really do like this. It just helps everything look more smooth and even. This one's a great one, good drugstore option. It is NYX, so of course it's affordable and yeah, it's really good. The next one is the Hydra Touch Primer. I absolutely love this primer. I used it in a ton of my videos in the summer. So this was one that even though it's a primer, I was using it as a moisturizer and a primer all in one, much like I do with like the Bobbi Brown face base and all that stuff. I think if you have a really good moisturizer and you're not necessarily looking for it to you know fill in lines and pores and things like that like you know one of these silicone type ones do I don't think it's that important to really prime with two things like do a moisturizer and then do a moisturizing primer on top I really just don't get the benefit in that so I would say if you are somebody that is oily you would definitely love this because you can use it as a moisturizer and primer all in one in your skincare routine so that's what I did this was my morning time moisturizer and primer and this is one of the best hydrating primers I have found and I can't get any more out because I used every little bit it's just very lightweight while still being very hydrating and your makeup goes on beautifully over top so I just absolutely cannot say enough good things about this then next I have a couple of concealers. So the first concealer I have is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. And this is a great concealer. It's a good, good drugstore concealer. And I think it would be a great dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I absolutely love this one. It doesn't crease, it doesn't look cakey. It covers really well. I like it because you can use it to cover underneath the eye and use it for imperfections on your face. And then the next one is just like my all-time favorite concealer. This is the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This was a summer launch, so this was brand new this summer, and I bought it when I bought my Kat Von D Locket Foundation. This concealer is amazing. It covers your under eye circles so well. If you are someone that struggles with darkness underneath your eye, I highly recommend this because it's going to give you that nice full coverage. It's a thin consistency. Again, it's one of those ones that I think the consistency is great for underneath the eye or any like blemishes or something. I always go here because I always get blemishes down here. Um, but you get a blemish here. It's great for blemish coverage because it is that thinner consistency. It's not going to cake up, but it's also great for underneath the eye which I love and this one covers so well I would say that this one is more of a light medium coverage probably more of a medium because it does do a good job of covering you need a few coats of it though this one though it's like one coat beauty blender that out and it just looks perfect and flawless it lasts all day and I just love 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 this concealer I'm trying on another one right now and I'm just like gosh I can't wait to go back and get this one because it's so good so then next I'm getting into setting powders and there's another Revlon product this is the photo ready powder and this is a good dupe for the MAC mineralized skin finish 
You do need, I think, to use a little bit more than the MAC Mineralize to get the coverage that you need. But I just absolutely love this one. I thought it was a great drugstore dupe. And then the next product is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This one is just not an empty. It's a straight up tossy. I've had this forever. I don't even know if they still make this product. I feel like I bought this before I was engaged. So that might even make it like three years ago. So it's it's been around a while. And I always was like, I don't want to get rid of it because the highlighter is so pretty. And it really is. Look at how pretty that gold is just super gorgeous. So it swatches beautifully. Um, it applies great, but I never found the time where on, you know, for me, where it was appropriate to have a straight up gold highlight. I just, I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. But then the bronzer is pretty. It's great. It's more orange tone, which I'm not a huge fan of but it never would pick up on my brush. So even when I go to apply it, it just never, the color payoff wasn't that great. I don't know if it's, it's almost like it's too dry or something. The brush just would never pick it up and then deposit the product on my face. So then the next item I have is the Urban Decay D-Slick Setting Spray. So I bought this one in the summer because I was thinking, oh, in the summer I'm a little bit more oily, it's humid out. So I bought this to replace the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is my all-time favorite setting spray. It is the best. But this one just, I don't know, it wasn't the same. It, like, I didn't notice it controlling the oil, really, and I didn't notice it really making my makeup last any longer. So I really couldn't wait to be done with this so I could go back to my Urban Decay All Nighter. Getting into eyes, the first eye product I have is a tossy. This looks like an empty, but it's a tossy. So this is the Kat Von D. These are her Metal Crush eyeshadows, and this is in the color Synergy. This color is gorgeous. I wish I could swatch it for you. It's a beautiful metalized bronzy shade, and I wore it a ton this summer, and I absolutely loved it. But for whatever reason, one day I took it out to use it and it had completely shattered. And I'm talking like this was a brand new product. I had bought it, I believe, like late spring or early summer. So I had maybe used it 10 times, maybe. And I was just so sad because I love this color and I had just purchased it. I barely got through it and then it shattered. And I don't know what happened because I'm super careful with my stuff. I recommend it for the color. I recommend it for the formula. But I probably wouldn't recommend that you guys go buy at least the metalized from the Kat Von D in these little singles because it broke. Then this next one is the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. So this lasted me for a, like a year and a half. I didn't think it was ever going to run out. And then the day that it did, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go buy a new paint pot. So I love paint pots. Highly recommend them. They're a great base for your eyeshadow, especially if you are somebody like me who has blue discoloration on your eyelids. I have a lot of veins and things up here and then like some purpley discoloration. So I do like to use a primer like this to cover up those imperfections. I have a ton of mascara, so let's just get into them. First mascara is from MAC. I cannot find the name of it anywhere on the packaging and I can't think of what it is. So I'm going to put the name right here somewhere on the screen. First of all, I hate the packaging. I don't like this top. I think it's just hard to get open. Then as you can see, I was like struggling to get it open. And that's because it is so clumpy. Like it would get so much buildup around this top. It got buildup like all around the cap. So then when I'd close it and I'd twist it, I'd have all this like black mascara like chunks everywhere. And then it would get in my makeup bag or get, you know, in my makeup drawer and get all my makeup like black and have this mascara everywhere. It was just, I hated it. So it's a little messy. And then this wand is just terrible. Like there's barely any hairs or bristles on there so when I would go to apply it you know the bristles are so short you have to get it really in on the eye and it would just go everywhere I would constantly have like 
makeup or mascara right on my eyelid. It doesn't dry super quickly, so you know if you open your eyelids, it would just like get everywhere. And the look that this gives you is more of a spidery look, which if you're going for that, great. But I like my lashes to be more separated and lengthened instead of like clumpy. So this just was not a good mascara for me. I wouldn't recommend this. So the next one is my very favorite mascara of all time. This is the Buxom Mascara in Black is Black, and it was a December favorite. So I will put it up here so you guys can watch that December favorites video, and here we talk all about this mascara, but it is just my absolute favorite. The brush is perfect. The formula is perfect. It separates. It lengthens. It volumizes. It is the best mascara ever, ever, ever. I love it so, so much. This is the Voluminous Feline Noir, and this is from, this is from L'Oreal. Who makes this? L'Oreal. So this one is supposed to be part of their Voluminous collection, which the Voluminous Carbon Black, Voluminous Million Dollar Lashes, I absolutely love. They're great mascaras. This one, the wand, is so annoying. It's like that MAC one. It just doesn't have enough bristles. The bristles are longer than the MAC one, but they're just, I don't know, I don't like them. Do you get, I think, a little bit more separation than with the MAC one, but it's a little bit liquidy, this mascara. So again, when you go to apply it, because the bristles, there's not enough, I don't think, to catch all that product. You just have a ton of product going everywhere. It gets a little clumpy. It does not layer well. So, you know, this is great for somebody who, you know, you're just applying this and then putting on false lashes. But if you're relying on this to make your lashes look beautiful, this does not do that for you. So I'm not a fan. If you're going to go with a mascara from L'Oreal, I would go with the original Voluminous or those Million Dollar Lashes. Those are two great mascaras from L'Oreal. Had high hopes for this one, but it is terrible. Eyebrows. This is from also from L'Oreal, and this is, the name's rubbed off, but this is like their brow filler or their brow gel, and this was fine, I guess, for a drugstore product, but I really love the Benefit Give Me Brow so much better. This is just super thin. The color is kind of weird on it. It's supposed to be like a taupey color, but it is just... A little odd I think so I would put it on it would dry fine it just looked a little too like caramely for at least my eyebrows so I need something that's a little bit more on the taupe side so this one just isn't a favorite it didn't do a ton for me and it kind of made my brows a little crispy so the next thing I have four of these little brow definers these are from Ardell these are like the best find of 2016 for me it is one of those brow definers it looks like the Anastasia brow definer. I think that maybe Benefit has one that's like that, but it's not like super fine. It's more of like, I don't know if you can even see that, but it's like an angled, more of like a um, kind of like softer kind of eye pencil and it's just perfect for drawing on your brows even if you need to kind of cheat like I have to cheat a little bit in the front on mine and it's just it's absolutely perfect it fills in beautifully it's smooth you don't have to work with it a ton and then it has a little brush on the other end so it's super convenient for travel next category is eyeliner so this first one is from Maybelline and it is the Master Precise Skinny because this is meant to be something that has a very fine point, so good for your water lines or very like precise, you know, little areas that you need a little bit more precision and control. I hated this for my waterline though, because you know, with your waterline, you need something that's a little bit more smudgy and a little, you know, it transfers a little bit better. This one is very like hard and it's hard to transfer and get that pigment laid down. Once you get it laid down, it's beautiful, it lasts all day, it doesn't smudge. But I would be pressing so hard I would break off, you know, the pro amount of product that I had rolled up. So then I'd have this big chunk of like eyeliner like in my eye that I'd have to like get out and it would always make a mess. So I just got tired of fiddling with it. So and then the next one is one that I really love. So this is the Kat Von D Ink Liner in Trooper. And so this is the one that's a felt tip. I feel like there's two camps of this Kat Von D. There's the people that love the tattoo, and then there's the people that love the ink. So the tattoo is the one that has the brush tip, and then the ink, which is this one, has the felt tip. So I am a felt tip 
eyeliner person all the way. I have a really hard time with liquid mascaras in a brush form just because I don't know if I just don't have a steady hand or as much control, but pen eyeliner always works. So I love this one. It's super precise great payoff. Next up I have a lip liner. This is a lip liner from Too Faced and it is in the color Perfect Nude and this really is the perfect nude color. It's a beautiful pinky nude. I absolutely love it and I would recommend this. It's, it's just great. The next product that I have is my all-time favorite lip gloss. This is from Buxom, and this is in the color White Russian. So the Buxom lip glosses, they have a little bit of that, um, you know, like that tingly lip plumping in them. So it is a little bit stronger. They smell like mint. They're great. And this is just a really pretty, wearable, translucent, pink lip gloss so it's perfect I think for somebody like me who has blue eyes blonde hair more fair it's just a gorgeous easy to wear lip color this is like a purse color I always keep this in my handbag but I hope you guys enjoyed these empties videos part one and part two and if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up and I would be interested to know in the comments like if you guys dislike something and I dislike something that would be really cool to know so I would love to hear your comments on that and can maybe have like a little discussion going back and forth if you agreed or disagreed with my opinions on these. Um, so feel free to leave comments below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so we can hang out again and I will talk to you guys so soon. Bye.